Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to play with almighty KPZ 50T. It is the new tank. Well, it's not really a new tank. It is way easier to access this vehicle nowadays because of the onslaught store and i think it is going to be worth every and each penny of the bonds right um i think it is absolutely glorious tier 9 medium and we will try to make it work today let's see what we can do and how we can play with this beautiful magnificent tank oh couple of aka tanks oh hi I like it. How are you doing, my man? You are enjoying yourself? Beautiful. Look at this, fellas. Who could have expected that, that the pattern will be Afaka? I would never expect that in my life. Definitely never. So as you can see, the start is okay. We got a couple of the free shots there and there, and I really appreciate that. You know, every and each free shot is very, very welcome. So... What is so good about the Kapaza 50T? In my humble opinion, Kapaza 50T overall has extremely good combination of the things. I think it has quite a bit of the armor. I think the tank uh, has very, very good gun. And overall, look at the standard APCRs, beautiful penetration, beautiful shell velocity, gold ammunition, 300, um, 10 millimeters of penetration, which is very, very nice. And we definitely cannot complain about this. In other words, what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say that this tank is worth everything every um, price that we're gaming is putting to it. Although, keep this in mind that this tank isn't a premium tank, so you cannot expect it to make a pre uh, a credits, right? It is not created to make credits. It's more likely created to burn credits overall, right? This is what this tank is all about. But other than that, it's beautiful. It is very beautiful, fellas. So, at the moment, we will try to start making pressure for the enemies just like this, you know. We are flanking them like there is no tomorrow and we are just showing a bit of the dominance for the enemy forces playing over there. Although we can see that Gusor 1010 is saying, oh, I want to get involved. Are you sure about this beautiful, magnificent mother tracker? Are you sure? Also, keep this in mind that this tank has quite a bit of the armor as well, so it's not uh, it's not that easy to beat this vehicle, right? And even uh, um, and even Mother Tracker who is trying to ram us to death, uh, I mean, he just noticed that. Wait a second, this tank doesn't feel that easily rammable, is it? Yeah, it doesn't. It definitely doesn't. As you can see, we can withstand 60 dp, uh, heat shells like there is no tomorrow, and once again, it is just one beautiful tank, fellas. Obviously, we can make the tank even better if we will make a decision to um, go a bit harder on the gold shells, which we more likely are going to do here against this Škoda. Mr. Škoda, no, really? Are you that upset? This is uh, this 60 dp fellas is super uh, upset. I can I can see that. I can feel that this gentleman is going full banana mode and now we are going to enjoy our journey. Beautiful. Very very nice. Okay. The start is very, very nice. We got the 2.9 thousand damage and we got quite a bit of the assisting damage, but this is only the start. There is still plenty of ways for us to improve this game and to get a bit more use. And in fact, this is exactly what we are aiming for, right? Maybe I am a bit greedy mother tracker here, but sometimes greediness is not a bad thing. Sometimes we need to know what we are worth and sometimes we just need to slap the living crap out of the enemies left, right and center, right? And this is exactly how we are playing this game. Now, there is no hit points left um, up here. I am kind of done with the situation over there and now I am thinking, hmm what to do in order to get maximum use we are to go how to play and how we can approach the enemy forces with a big smile on our face and how we can make them to regret their life choices this is what i am thinking in this situation so now the question is now the question is where enemy arta is sitting at i mean he is slow he is lazy he definitely doesn't want to move from this position over there right so what is our goal our goal is try to catch this mother tracker sitting somewhere over there 
I know for a fact that Arta is, uh, is not, I mean, you saw the tracer, I saw the tracer, everything is completely all right. And we have the 50B who is going in front like crazy magnificent mother trucker and he's about to slap the living crap out of the Arta. At least this is how it looks like. That's flexing. Just saying. <laughs> This this guy is just going and ramming the living crap out of the Arta, okay? He's saying that Gusor is sniping from somewhere over there and we will try to beat the living crap out of Gusor before it's too late. Gusor is dead, beautiful, very, very, very nice. And we are just having the best time of our life here. As you can see, this tank is capable of making quite a bit of pressure, fellas. Truly. For a tier 9 medium tank, it feels to me like it is medium heavy tank. There is not many tanks with which I would go um, to this aggressive level and I would simply try to be the living crap out of the enemies in the same way, you know? Usually, I would take a bit more conservative approach and usually I would just simply... Uh, simply play safer you know there is nothing much more to say i would just play safer not with this tank with this tank we are going brrr, and we are showing the dominance because this is what this tank is fellas because this is what this tank is unfortunate hit from the leo kind of sad but let it be i cannot complain that much can i and now all we want to do we want to see this gentleman peeking sideways like this beautiful peek we are sending him back to the garage and we are enjoying our show what a beautiful tank this is fellas there is a reason why this tank is rated epic in the index page and there is a reason why um most of the ratings for this tank are also epic if you would pay uh, take a look into this by the way you can rate the tanks in the index page if you are logging in via our gaming api and you can rate the tank like this you can see after 200 votes the rating is 4.75 which is very 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 high where the vote goes right um and it is a beautiful tank honestly Plus, if you want to get involved, fellas, there is over 106,000 ratings. Probably at this time, whenever video is released, there is more uh, because I'm pre-making YouTube videos, right? Um, so, yeah, be part of the index and feel free to rate the tanks. Meanwhile, what do we have? We have 5.2,000 damage, 900 assisting damage. We are first by experience. We are first by the damage. But I need to admit that those 50 Bs, they definitely helped for us. And I have a, definitely a feeling that both of those gentlemen are baboons. So, pleasure to meet you, you sweet, magnificent bastards. Um, and let's keep up our journey, shall we? What a great tank. Okay, and round number two. What do we have? We have a beautiful Prokurovka standard battle. Let's try to make this beautiful game work, shall we? This is one of the better maps, at least for me. It is one of my favorite maps. So I would be very disappointed if we would not get like 5,000 combined or something like this, but we'll see. Obviously for this tank, we are maximizing the gun handling and whatnot. So we are not having them spotting setup but hopefully our light tank knows what he is doing and he is going to slap enemies like there is no tomorrow meanwhile we can clearly see that enemy conqueror is screaming and yelling and he is trying to escape from the current um, position and from the current situation and oh boy oh boy what a price he paid for that Zekiel! Fellas, looks like we have a looks like we have a team full of baboons, and that is absolutely glorious. It is my pleasure and honor to meet you in the game, and this is the main reason why I do not use anonymizer. I know it can uh, give uh, some good emotions and it can give some good things, you know. Especially if you are watching the YouTube videos daily or not even daily, right? It is just a pleasure and uh, honor to meet someone you watch. Okay, so what do we want to do now? What is the correct play for us in this type of situation? This is the question. I really do not like that they have the CBR sitting right there, oh, but I do not really yeah. think I can change something about this. Psych, not you. Mother tracker, you scared the living crap out of me. I thought for a second that I am streaming. Oh my bananas. 
it happened before, okay, fellas? I, uh, instead of clicking record button, I started streaming and yeah, welcome to the video, Psychnot. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Who just resubbed? Mother Trackers. Ooh. Ooh, look at this. This is going to be an interesting one. In this situation, we need to spam quite a bit of the gold ammunition. At least that's what I think. It's not going to be that easy, but I think we can still be the living crap out of him. I'm not, he's not the one who is spotting me. He is not the one who is spotting me, fellas. That being said, we need to figure out how we could play this game and how we could uh, um, eliminate the enemy forces out there. Not the easiest choice and not the easiest game for sure, but we can be very, very, very much successful here. Now, what we are going to wait, we are going to wait uh, until enemy team will make some mistakes. That's all we need to do. First of all, I'm waiting until Arta will shoot. How we can do this? This is the question. Huh? Ooh, STB is going super aggressively like this. Wow. What a brave mother tracker. Okay, Arta. I know exactly what we need to do. We need to try to punish the Arta here, right? Plus minus, we marked where Arta is sitting at and what is he doing, so let's try to punish this mother tracker. How about that? Not the easiest play, but we definitely can be successful here, fellas. I really want that Arta to die. I haven't seen this splash, to be fair with you. Hmm... Okay, Arta relocated. Arta relocated. That basically means either this Arta is professional Arta player and he is relocating after each shot, or alternatively, he relocated after we slapped him. One out of two. And if I would need to bet, I would bet that he relocated after we slapped him, okay? That would be my guess. Oh yeah, he's relocating all the time. It is going to be very, very hard to catch this mother tracker. Let's ping over there. Arta is moving. Okay, that's uh, that's good information overall. Now, since we know that Arta is moving, we can we can relax and we can take it easy. Meanwhile, we are loading the high explosive ammunition for this Jack Pizda. And we will try to eliminate him from the game. We left one hit point, which is kind of sad. But hey, that's this is as much as we can do. Meanwhile, we know that, yeah, Arta is moving in front and back. Arta is moving in front and back. That's 100%, fellas. Um, I'm curious. Did we slap this guy or we didn't? This is the most important question for us, you know? At least this is the most important question for me. Okay. How about the Centurion? Whenever the Centurion will try to make a bit of pressure, we should be able to spot him from this position over there without bigger problems whatsoever. So we are in the bush, we are sitting well, we are enjoying ourselves, and now all we are waiting for, we are waiting until the Centurion will peak. Because he will, it's a matter of the time. And if I need to bet from where is he going to peak? Yep, he's going to peak from here. Beautiful, very, very nice. We need to slap him, as you can see. Our team instantly dug, 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 dug. There was plenty of the guns who were pretty much prepared and for this guy to peak. Good, very, very nice. I like the situation, I truly do. Meanwhile, there is Mr. Pat on the tank and there is Centurion. Oh my bananas, you are shitting a lucky carrots, don't you? Wow. This is very, very brave. Now, I believe we can go for this pattern. I believe we can be aggressive enough just to simply push on him and to say, no, what's up? Are you ready to play the game? The game is called, I slap you and you complain, you know? Minor 
At least that's what I want to believe. Meanwhile, okay, other Patton is nearby, as you can see. His platoon mate is nearby. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but that's what we have. Meanwhile, 907 should not have a decent angle on us. So what we need to do, we need to, mar uh, we need to mark those patterns. Skill, what do you mean mark those patterns? I mean slap them to that level that they would forget the name, you know? That's what I call marking the pattern. Meanwhile, 907, you sneaky, magnificent mother trucker. Okay, I see how it goes. I see how it goes. Oh, what a bastard. Okay, let's try to load some hits and let's grill his ass in this type of situation, right? I think this could be a very good idea. By the way, speaking about the good ideas, we are f quite far away from having our four um, or five thousand. What did I said? I said five thousand, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that is not ideal, fellas. That isn't ideal. Meanwhile, let's try to get that Arta where he could be. Eh, somewhere, somewhere randomly like this and he got me. Okay, uh, kind of a sad play. To be completely honest with you, I was too greedy in this situation. I knew what I am putting my fingers to. I knew that 907 is playing on the corner. I knew that Conqueror got slapped so much that he's going to be passive to the maximum. And yet still I peeked through the open field, which... Let's get real. It was my fault and my mistake. Eh, what can you do? 3.5 thousand combined. Accepted. Better luck next time. Okay, fellas. And we are back. We are back with a victory, but unfortunately the performance wasn't ideal. I really wanted to do more, but we hit that Arta with a blind shot. That's why that Arta was moving so much like a worm in the pan. That's okay. 2,000 damage, 1.6 thousand assisting damage, 3.6 or 3.7 thousand combined. I need to accept this score. There is nothing what we can do about it. To change it, 8,000 profits. That is okay. So far, after two performance with Kapaza, we are playing for 3.6 thousand damage, 1.2 thousand assisting damage, so close to 5 thousand combined. Come on, let, last game, 6 thousand combined. Pretty please, let's go. Okay, I like the situation. This has potential. I like the side from the Abbey. I like to make a hardcore pressure towards the 8 line. And let's see what we are going to meet. We are not going to stop by for a moment. We are going to make a hardcore pressure. Also, I like this gentleman camo. That looks very very good what's up beautiful let's do this let's do this fellas i know it sounds kind of weird but skill why would you make a pressure over there i just feel like it is going to be a nice idea okay uh i might be very wrong maybe it is going to be a horrible idea and maybe i'm going to take one for the team and after that i'm going to complain why did i push here kind of alone but you know what i have a feeling this is going to be beautiful very 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 nice so far so good we haven't met that many forces if any unfortunately i'm getting spotted here but that pretty much means that the light tank is there and you know what this light tank will hate his life in a moment skill what do you mean by saying this well you see this light tank is uh, in a bit of the pickle situation if you know what i mean this light tank is thinking oh my bananas i am safe i can do whatever i want no you can't buddy no you can't Okay, listen, all we need to do, we need to try to eliminate this gentleman from the game. I have no doubts whatsoever that our team will make a bit of pressure for him and oh boy, oh boy, this is the moment whenever he is regretting his life choices, okay? There is nothing what he can change about this and he can simply accept his responsibility. And I can tell you one thing, it is not nice to accept the responsibility in this situation. Really, Arta, really. Really, my own Arta. Really. <laughs> okay. Apparently, apparently our Arta isn't uh, isn't very happy about this. Um, I'm accepting this though. Not the first time, not the last time, and I have a feeling that he loves me that much. And you know what? There is a lot of baboon to love. How about that, fellas? How about that? Now, let's see. What is the next step for us? What we know, we know that um, enemy forces doesn't have too many uh, tanks in this area, okay? That's what we know. That being said, hmm, 
there is some kind of weird bug going on in the game. I do not know have you ever noticed that or not, but you cannot switch your ammo type in the game. This is a weird one, but sometimes it happens and this is what I am experiencing at the moment, but that's okay. We are going to be fine. Can we slap the living crap out of the Kunze? No, Kunze is dead. Unfortunately, we haven't met absolutely anyone here, which is a bit of the sadness, and I think um, this game doesn't look great. I thought it is going to be significantly better, to be completely honest with you, but hey, it is how it is. Now, the question is how many, how many um, forces... Or how many hit points enemy forces has who are playing over there? This is the question. We will have a lot of sniper schnitzel. So you know what? I think I am staying here around the corner. <laughs> D30 is saying I feel like a tourist in this game. You know what, fellas? Feeling like a tourist in the game is not necessarily a bad thing. To be completely honest with you, feeling like a tourist can be a beautiful thing. At least this is how I look into all of this. Skill, why would you say something like this? Well, as being so professional in the game doesn't... Uh, sometimes might not give you satisfaction as it is giving for you to be the tourist and just to travel around the game and to have a great time while traveling, you know? At least I remember myself whenever I was, whenever I just started playing the game, right? Uh, it was absolutely glorious to shoot in the sky and to have a great time while doing so, right? Nowadays we have some kind of expectations. Nowadays we want to do damage. Nowadays, if you don't have 5,000 combined with capacity, it's horrible score. You get the point what I'm saying. And back in the day, whenever I was a tourist myself, I had a blast no matter what was the result, if you know what I mean. It was just fun. So it's not necessarily bad to be a tourist. Skill, are you having fun now? Sure, I mean, <laughs> uh, how dare you? Sure, I do. Okay, very, very nice. We should be able to eliminate this mother trucker just like so. I am feeling very, very good. You see, this tank can and will bounce once in a while. It is not so simple to um, penetrate um, Almighty Kapazan or Almighty Kapazander as I prefer to call this vehicle. Right? Beautiful. Very, very nice. Now we are just simply making as much pressure as we physically and possibly can. This type is running for his life, but there is nowhere to run because he is already dead. Like I said, he's already dead and... Okay, I even need to fix the things manually. Wait a second. What is the way to fix it? Control tab, I think. Wait a second. Or alt tab, sorry. Okay, let's see. Will the things work now? Yeah. Uh, you are fixing this bug with uh, alt tabbing, fellas. This is how the things are looking like. Meanwhile, Arta. Yeah, quite a sad session. Not gonna lie, fellas. Um, not gonna lie, quite a sad session. I simply misplayed where I decided to play in this game. I have a feeling if I would make a decision to play super aggressively, right, it would have been significantly better than uh, for me to take 8 uh, line and to slap everyone up front. Because, truth to be told, things simply went south. Kind of sad story, unfortunately. Yeah, what can you do? What can you do, fellas? Yeah, I mean, I traveled across the map and unfortunately I haven't found enemies. Let's see the score. And we are back, fellas. 2.4 thousand damage, 800 assisting damage. We are first by experience. I literally felt like a tourist in this game, fellas. And we are first by the damage. What a weird game. Our team shared the damage so uh, weirdly over there. And we got uh, 22,000 profits. So overall, after three games, our performance is 3.2 thousand damage, 1.1 thousand assisting damage, which definitely could be better but it is how it is fellas sometimes some sessions are harder than others and overall we have like 4.5 thousand combined not a horrible score but that's what we crafted anyways um 
even though the score might may not show how good this vehicle is, you need to trust me on this one. And this tank is a solid banana out of 10. Uh, if you have a chance to buy it, if you will perform, uh, participate in the onslaught, I would highly recommend to do so. And that was your daily dose of skill, fellas. I hope you had a great time and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.